So, Sir Mark, uh, thank you very much for coming along to the conference. I just wanted to ask you, what have you made of your first uh, three weeks in, in the post of Government Chief Scientific Advisor? Oh, it's been absolutely fascinating because I've learned about all sorts of extraordinary things. The, the sort of breadth of uh, issues that are being thrown at me is quite mind-boggling. Uh, but it's challenging, it's fun, and it just emphasises to me the importance of science, engineering, technology and the social sciences for government policy. Have there been any big surprises? Um, no, I don't think there have been any big surprises because I've had a pretty good insight into government from the outside from my work at the Wellcome Trust. And, but I think it's the extension from health policy to so many other areas uh, where science is crucially important. Which, the, the point about health policy is very important because it's the read across about evidence, isn't it? Yeah. Health policy is based on evidence. Um, how far do you think that that is Mostly, going to be? Mostly, I think, is the answer to that. <laughs> well, perhaps apart from homeopathy. So, so if we're, we're looking across that, do you, do you think there are the things that you've learnt on that medical side that, that are transferable to, to other parts of the way in which um, government's working? Well, absolutely. I mean, I think one thing is that if you're going to get the right answer to any complicated issue, you can't look at it with a single issue perspective. You've got to look from every direction. And so, for example, I, earlier I talked about energy, which you can only really make sensible policy decisions if you look at it from the perspective of energy security, energy cost, and then issues of sustainability for the planet. If you look at it through one of those prisms alone, you'll get the wrong answer. And I think health is similarly complicated. So it's about actually looking at things from all sorts of different angles. And it's about recognising that the job of the scientific advisor is to advise on the science. The job of the, of the politician is to make the policy decision. And, and looking at it from different angles also means working with different groups, different, different people. So let's pick universities as one, one group. Mm -hmm. How do you see that moving forward? Oh, I, well, I mean, I think the opportunity is to move, work with scientists from every walk of life. And I think that's the big challenge and the opportunity. It's about scientists in industry. It's about scientists in academia. It's about scientists in government. It's about scientists globally as well. It, 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 it's, I mean, that's the excitement. It's the challenge. There is an enormous network, and it's how you maximise the impact of the expertise that's out there. And thank you for laying that out so uh, expertly this morning in your, your conference speech. Thanks, Mark, for, for coming along and talking to us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.